This is a clear base plate. You're probably more used to solid colored base plate. I use a lot of base plate, especially when I'm doing some big builds. You know how Lego is a very precision toy? Microns in precision. So I've lined it up stud to stud over there. Now, if I come all the way to the other side, here we're at 48 studs. Look at that. Can you see that? It doesn't line up anymore. I don't know why this is, but the clear base plate has just a fraction of a difference. And by the time you get over to 48, it's, it's quite a bit of travel. Generally, if I'm building a really big model, I won't be using the clear plates because the count could get off. But there are some instances where having clear base plate is very handy. On the life-size Lego Christmas tree, I had to basically build lids to the hollow tree layers. And to make sure they fit properly, I used clear base plates to trace a Lego outline of where I needed to build. Then I filled it in and it matched up perfectly. What could you use clear Lego base plates for?